Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lord, you know God is speaking when he speak early in the morning. You mean I still got like that little sleepy voice. Come on somebody. But come on in. Hello everyone. This is Prophetess Oriel. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing this on my personal page. I usually do my videos on my ministry page, OMW Ministries. So let's connect. Let's stay connected. Amen. And go follow. Go like my ministry page. Um, but I want you guys to please just come on in because um, I have a mighty dream is that I really want to share. <laughs> and as soon as I got up, it was so heavy upon my heart. So the Lord gave me... Um, great warning amen to warn his people um concerning counterfeit marriages hi good morning good morning make sure that you share this video amen because i'm not going to be waiting i'm just not um because at the end of the day look at my hair hey man well i'm just not a vain person but i know y'all used to me you know being snatched and having my curls and all that so oh well It'll just have to fall. <laughs> It'll be fixed later on uh, today. But anyway, so glory to God. So, because um, I don't want to get distracted by that. Amen. So, God gave me a dream. Amen. And I woke up like, Lord, what is this? So, in the dream, the Lord began to show me um, multiple couples. That they were married, multiple married couples. And from the outside looking in, you would think that everything was so beautiful. Everything was so wonderful. Amen. But when it all came down to seeing what's really going on, um, it ended up being a counterfeit marriage in the first place. And then the Lord began to show me a lot of details concerning those counterfeit marriages. And one of the things were was that... Um, the spouses begin to literally uh, force their fit into the marriage to where they portrayed it to be one thing, to where they acted and did certain things just to make sure, amen, is that their spouse could literally hook into their devices, but they're, they were nothing like that. Amen. But they only played the role. They only, thank you, Holy Ghost. They only played the role. Amen. Just for a limited time until they got married. And what the role was, was that they did everything that they spouse liked. Um, I mean, everything. I mean, they cooked. I mean, even just the way that they dressed. I mean, it's like they changed everything about their true selves. Amen. And once they got married, the Lord began to say, my beloved, this was a forceful fit. And because it was a forceful fit, I have already forfeited the marriage at the beginning. And so I wanted to tell you on today, listen to this warning. I want for you to be wise in this season. Because uh, there will be some people, amen, that will only change just to get for you to marry. That will only change to make you fall for them. But in the reality, that was not who God had for them in the first place. And then what was so heartbreaking was that in the dream was that, was that they knew that they were not a fit for them. You know, just like at the beginning. Is that when, you know, is that when God put Adam to sleep, amen, and that he took a rib out and that he created his wife, amen. And so in the dream, there has been a lot of marriages that have been going forth to where there has been um, a rib made. It's almost like they created their own rib just to make it fit. And I'm warning you on today, <laughs> stop creating and stop making your own ribs just because you want what you want. Just because you desire what you desire, but it will never fit because God never ordained for it to go forth in the first place. And so you had already forfeited your marriage at the beginning because not only was it a forceful fit, but it was a man-made fit, not a God-made 
fit the difference. Man made and God made is two different uh, ribs, two different fits. And because of that in the dream, my God, in the dream, as soon as they begin to get married, their spouses begin to see who they really are. But at this time, it, it was already too late. It was skeletons begin to come out the closet to where it was almost like the mask that they had put on. It immediately had fell off and now their true selves begin to be revealed. And then the spouses in the marriage begin to shake their head in disappointment trying to figure out how did they miss it. Well, you missed it because you were trying to do a man-made fit and God said no. So I'm warning you, wait. Wait on God just because they may be what you desire and just because they may be what you want and that they may be doing everything right. But just wait because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, please hear the word of the Lord because my heart was grieved. Yes, I know this is the season for marriages and I'm telling you, God has literally been Blowing my mind by people's testimonies when I did um, um, my video um, about marriages coming forward. But now this is a warning to where people were putting on a facade. They were doing and severing. I mean, they were doing and saying everything just to make themselves fit. And what was so dangerous was they knew that they were not a fit. But they knew that their spouses was a good husband. They knew that their spouses was a good wife. And so they played the role to get them hooked. To get them to fall into love. But also at the same time, it was forfeited in the first place. And then you wonder why you are going through all sorts of hell in your marriage. Not saying that you're not going to go through things, but it could be that you end up marrying someone that was man-made, a man-made rib and not a God-made rib. It could be that the reason why you're going through all this stuff in your marriage. And thank you, Holy Spirit. God gave you warning beforehand but you did it anyway amen so now you're gonna have to walk this thing out until the lord releases you because you knew better and you still did it because your flesh wanted what your flesh wanted and and because of that this is one of the reasons why the highest rate of divorce is failing in christian marriages and and the body of christ is because we have literally made our own man-made ribs that it was a forceful fit. And the reason why it was a forceful fit is because they played the role and because they wanted what they wanted, they desired what they desire, and because they did not want to wait. And because they did not want to wait, once they said those I do's, though, I mean, that mash just came right on off. And in the dream, I was just looking at all of these couples and I was just looking at their spouses being strongly deceived. And then I began to see the heartbreak on their spouses' faces because they were very good um, wives. They were very good husbands. But it was a forced fit. And the ones that they married just only played the role. But their heart really was not into it. When it's God ordained, you don't have to force anything. You don't have to pretend to be something that you are not. Come on. What's for you is what's for you. God has someone specifically for you. Amen. To where, I mean, when I woke up this morning, I was like, Lord, now I understand why a lot of marriages fail in the Christian homes. Because when we say that we're going to wait on God, but then you really don't want to wait on God because you're tired of waiting. And at the end of the day, you still just want to be married. Um, but there's no purpose in that. So you can have purpose and marry someone that was a forceful fit. And the purpose in you dies because you was never supposed to marry them in the first place. Amen. So 
take the warning on today. Please share this this broadcast because I'm telling you, I'm 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 this is a warning. And if my name now Oreo Washington, and if I'm not a prophet of God, you hear the word of the Lord on this morning. Hear me when I say, go to the father about your spouse. Please do, because they can talk a good talk. They may even can walk a good walk. But I know what God showed me. He said it was a forceful fit. And because it was a forceful fit, I had already forfeited the marriage at the beginning. That means God's hand was not upon it. And then you wonder why you're going through all chaos and stuff. Because it was a forceful fit. Amen. So it may be what you desire. It may be what you want. But please go to the Father about who you are in courtship with. Please. I mean, I beg you. I even received this for myself because I am a single woman. I even received this for myself. Amen. Because there will be a lot of people that will be drawn to you by the anointing. But hear me. Hear the word of the Lord. I know the dream that God showed me. <laughs> These people talk like God. They walk like God. They did everything that you probably will be looking for in a husband or a wife. But the moment that you married, that mask begin to come off and then you begin to see a whole different person because them themselves literally created, created their own rib to fit perfectly into what has God has ordained for you. Only for you to marry them. And then come to find out that you married a counterfeit. You married someone that was nothing but destruction to you. You married an Ishmael. <laughs> Not the promise. So I decree and that I declare that God will begin to open up your eyes and that you will not marry a Ishmael. That you will not marry someone that only... Try to force their fit into your destiny. No more force fits. Because the only thing that that leads to is counterfeits. A counterfeit marriage that God will not be in. And no, God will not deliver your marriage because it was counterfeit in the first place. And God gave you warning. But you did not realize it until it was already too late. Until the skeletons started coming out the closet to where they started to reveal their true selves to where they were not honest with you at the beginning about their past. And then next thing you know that their past come up to the forefront and you looking like, what did I marry? Like, what did I get myself into? Don't fall for it. So I pray the blood of Jesus over your purpose, over your destiny. And I decree and that I declare is that the scales from your eyes will, will fall and that what God has showed you, that it will be open. Amen. I pray that you will not miss it. I pray that you will not allow for your desires. Amen. And what you want to deter you from what God has for you. Because let me tell you something, that it is greater. But what I saw in the dream this morning, I mean, I kind of just laid in my bed and I kind of just meditated for a, a little bit. Because I'm just like, my God. <laughs> Mighty God. Um... This is like, this is pretty deep. And at the end of it, it's like in the dream is that the ones that they married, they were the good husband. They were the good wives. And it just so happened that, that the spouses that they married, that they had been waiting on God for a while because they were really believing God. But then it ended up being a forceful fit. And so when they realized that it was a forfeit marriage, it was already too late because they had already was in a covenant with them, you know. So be wise and be careful. And then at the end of it, they end up being heartbroken. And that they end up just walking away from the faith because their heart was so wounded. So hear this warning on today.
hear this warning on today. Well, listen, if you married a counterfeit, then you just married a counterfeit. But you can't get out of your marriage until God releases you to. I'm sorry. I mean, that's pretty much all that like I can give you. Because my first marriage, God told me no, and I did it anyway. And I couldn't get out of it until God said, okay, now enough. Now I have released you. Amen. So we need to stop marrying. We need to stop pursuing our flesh. Yes, God knows what we desire. God knows what we want. But if you marry... If you try to force something that God has not put his hand upon, it will not work and it will fail from the beginning. Stop trying to force marriages and then expect God to bless it because I'm here to tell you that God will not bless anything that man has forced. God will not bless man-made ribs, man-made uh, uh, marriages. God will not bless anything that is forced from man to try to get God to bless it because he still won't bless it. It will still be cursed. No more marry, marrying Ishmael's. All because you want what you want and you do not want to wait. Hear the word of the Lord on today. Please. I beg of you. Please. Because don't inbox me a couple months, months from now and said I made a mistake because God gave you warning. From the beginning. Amen. So I'm praying. I'm praying. Oria loves y'all. Prophetess loves y'all. But I'm going to preach the truth until it hurt. I'm going to preach the truth. I'm going to preach the truth. Be careful. Whoever that you meet. Ask God to reveal everything. Because they may. Can walk the good walk. Talk the good talk. But they were not who God has for you. It was a, it was a man-made rib, a forceful fit. That's something that God will never bless. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Amen. So I decree and that I declare is that your next marriage. Amen. Is that the um all your first marriage? Amen. <laughs> But this will be my second one. Amen. Um, no more made man ribs. No more man-made marriages. Wait on God, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I had to get this out of my spirit so that I can go back to sleep. Because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> but God woke me up at 7 something this morning. To say, okay, my beloved, I need for you to warn my people. I need for you to warn my church. And this is the reason why marriages are failing. Listen, people of God, the world is supposed to look at the Christian marriages to see how they can make it. But there's so many failed marriages in the body of Christ is because we have tried to force things that God has said no to. We have tried to force ribs. We have tried to force destinies. We have tried to uh, force purposes. We have tried to force ministries that God has never ordained for them to be together. Never ordained for them to be in covenant with. Never had ordained for it to be that way. So stop trying to force things when you know God is saying no to because your marriage will be counterfeit at the very beginning. I don't care how much word they know. I don't care how good they dress. I don't care how they are wooed with their words. You go to the father about it. Be careful and be wise and don't allow for your desperation all because you are getting tired of waiting. Detour you from your promise. God knows what he's doing. Amen. So I love y'all. I pray that y'all were blessed. <laughs> Amen. So do not forget to share this video amen because people need to hear this oh yes people need to hear this and i'm gonna try to amen yeah and i'm gonna try to 
reach out a peak, you know, like reach out a pin, curl his hair. Amen. But we family. <laughs> Amen. So I love y'all. But take warning and please take heed to this. Amen. Take heed. Because God has someone specifically for you. But if you are not willing to wait, then woe unto you. The marriage is already forfeited. And the only thing that you will birth, you will not birth the promise. The only thing that you will birth are Ishmael's. You will birth Ishmael children. You will birth an, an Ishmael purpose, Ishmael destiny, and your ministry will have the spirit of Ishmael upon it. Not the promise. Hear me well. <laughs> Hear me well. Hear me. And I, I, I pray that the scales will fall off. I pray that that blindness will be removed in Jesus name. And that you will know that it is God's sin. And that you will know is that it is counterfeit sin you will know to where it either either it will flow like god or it will be forced like the devil if if you have to force it it's not god i'm telling you it's not god but if it flows then it is god i'm telling you so that's my warning on this morning the lord told me to tell you all of you do not marry a man-made rib. Do not marry a forced rib, a forced marriage. And because it was forced, it was already counterfeit at the beginning. I don't care how much you plead. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you fast. God said, no, before you marry and it's going to still be a no now. It's going to still be a no. God will not change his mind about what he said. And God will not change his mind. You cannot change God's mind. I don't care what you, I don't care what you do. And so many people marry after they realize that they married someone that was a force rib. After they marry someone that they realize that they had all of these hidden skeletons, all of these hidden closets. I mean, just all the dirt come to the forefront. And then you realize, Lord, what did I get my, myself into? Yes, I'm married, but you know, but God bless it. No, I'm telling you, he won't bless it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's not going to bless it. Have mercy. I mean, all my curls just fell. So I'm going I'm to have to recurl this because it's getting on my nerves. Yeah. Amen. So I love y'all. I say this in love. But take warning. Because anytime God gives me a word like this, not too many days from, from now, I get inboxes. And then God shows me more a dream. So that's why even with myself. You know, I'm going to be transparent even with myself. Morning. Even with myself, I have to be careful because too many men are attached. Too many men want to be attached. Because, you know, I have, you know, I'm anointed and, you know, God uses me and I'm beautiful. That's great. I'm not vain. I've never been a vain person. But I will not marry a oh, a rib. I will not be a man's rib that's forced. I won't. And I won't marry someone just because, you know, I just won't do it. Because I won't go through another failed marriage. And I mean that. <laughs> and I decree that I declare that you will not go through a, no more failed marriages in your first marriage. The ones that have never been married before, that you will know that it's God ordained. I'm I'm not saying is that you won't have testing and trials because you will. I mean that's just a part of life. But what I'm saying that if it's force, and if you created your own rib just to make it fit, then it's not God. 
it's not God. <laughs> it's not God. And your marriage will be forfeit from the beginning and God won't bless it. And that's just the word of the Lord. So I love y'all. I love y'all. Good morning. I know in Houston it's raining, but I just wanted just to have a heart to heart talk. I just wanted just to have a heart to heart talk. Amen. And I wanted to give you a warning that please don't do it. Make sure it's God. Don't force it. When it's God ordained, it's God ordained. Amen. Just because of what you may desire, just because of what you may want, and just because they may change for you, it's forced. So, bitch, I grace and peace. I love y'all. Amen. If y'all haven't followed my ministry page, please go follow OMW Ministries. Yes, no more failed marriages. Please hear the word of the Lord. Because that dream shook me up. It shook me. And I've been having a lot of dreams lately. <laughs> Amen. But it shook me up. It it did. No more. No more force fits. And the result will be counterfeit. Okay? I love y'all. But I don't. I want you to excel in marriage. I, I want you to excel into the promises in your destiny. Because if not, I saw the disappointment on the spouse's faces in my dream. I saw was that they portrayed it to be one thing. But then after they said the vows, they end up being something that they never wanted into a spouse. So no more of that. Amen. So be blessed. But God is doing a thing now. Make no mistake. God is sending blessings and then God is sending a warning. Because I'm telling you, I have been getting testimonies from a lot of people that has literally been blowing my mind. I'm like, Lord, I know this you. Have mercy. <laughs> from people that have literally been like reached out to me with phone calls or in my inboxes about how God did a thing for them. And, and it happened just like that. But now this is a warning. There's a blessing, but now this is a warning. If it's forced, don't do it. If it's a force fit, if it's a main a man-made rib and not God rib, don't do it. Amen. I love y'all.